Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cozy Languages. My name is James. I'm the founder and a language teacher at this language learning project. Today, we would like to make a, a long video about the languages that we do not currently teach and to give you a bit of basic words and a little background story behind these languages, because we think that these languages have to be mentioned because I personally learn them as well, or I am learning, if you will, as well. So, um, currently, at hold on, at this day, so on 26th of July 2024, we teach English, French, Italian, and Russian languages. And we are learning others as well. So I would like to tell you the background story behind some of them. Starting with um, the first language that I haven't uh, mentioned or I haven't really added the um, basic vocabulary yet, this is Tatar language. So Tatar is my mother language. It's actually my first ever language verbal language that I used and that I learned, while Russian was my second language. And Tatar, um, I mean, I would love to develop things, uh, to develop more courses connected with Tatar, because I consider this language to be endangered, and I truly want uh, people to learn this language. So I would, or we would create um, just, you know, a very short course of basic vocabulary, probably something connected with traveling purposes to show off a bit. Anyways, then let's dive into another language and we also present some basic vocabulary of this language, which is, um, hold on, um, I need to find it. Uh, it is, oh... Grundswortschatz, German, Deutsch, Koisi Deutsch, and I really hope that in the future we would be able to develop this um, cozy languages segment as well, but for now we also probably do some, rather, rather we will make some um, basic course for traveling purposes. So, what is the story behind German, for me personally? I have started uh, to learn German in 2020, once I've graduated from my bachelor's and started my first master's degree. And there we had a choice um, between German or German as the second language, because the first one, it was um, English, and German, it was essential, and I had to, really, I had to learn this language uh, to get more points um, for my uh, sessions. Anyway, so I learned a bit of it, and then I, once I've graduated, I've completely uh, stopped learning this language. But then at the particular moment when I moved to France, I have started to, you know, to get interested in this language a bit, because um, I moved to France uh, because of the, or rather thanks to the Erasmus exchange program, and there were a lot of people from different countries, and of course there were people from Germany, Deutschland, and uh, I don't know, I just started to speak with them a bit, and it was quite fascinating, and I got that uh, desire to learn this language again. So this is a little story behind this, and uh, these days I continue to learn it bit by bit, and I really hope that I'm going to learn it the same way as you will learn it, I hope, using this uh, cozy languages pathway of uh, language learning. So, what are the basic words that you can find in the description below? You can find actually the song uh, of uh, basic words, and uh, you can learn it in the same manner. So, the basic words go with hello, which is very, well, I wouldn't say it's like very, very formal. I think it's more of a formal way or basic way of saying hello. Hello, 
hello. While hi, it has several variants, but you can actually say the word hi, same, hi. So, hello, hi. Auf Wiedersehen, goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen, literally, see you later or till next time. Auf Wiedersehen, and uh, bye, informal one, is choose. There are various um, various variants, sorry for this dumb um, <laughs> collocation, but there are various variants that uh, you can um, find and you can use as well, but we give just simple choose. So, auf Wiedersehen, choose, choose. Ja und nein. Very simple. Ja und nein. Einen Kaffee. One coffee. By the way, in German there are cases such as nominativus, genitivus, dativus. Probably I'm pronouncing them in the wrong way, but you know what I mean. So there are cases and um, this language is considered to be a bit difficult due to these. So, anyways, einen Kaffee. Bitte. One coffee, please. Danke. Thank you. Or danke schön. Thank you very much. If you want, uh, if you like to use the much words. Danke schön. And for your welcome, bitte. Same bitte as the general, um, as the general variant. You have other variants as well, but you can say just bitte or bitte schön. Like you are welcome very much, much welcome in some ways. So, and let's try to make it into dialogue, well, not dialogue, but monologue that is um, being repeated in the song. Hallo, hi, hi. Auf Wiedersehen, tschüss, tschüss. Ja und nein. Einen Kaffee, bitte. Dankeschön, bitte. So, beautiful. Um, let's go to the next language, which is, um, hold on, let me find it, which is, uh, oh my gosh, Armenian. No, Armenian I'm going to leave till the end, because this is much of, um, it's important as a language, and it is the last language that I actually started to learn, so I do not remember much. So, we go to another one, which is Spanish. Ooh. So, with Spanish, it's very interesting. I have started to learn Spanish in 2020 as well, uh, during the coronavirus period. Um, and I've started, actually, at the same time to learn Italian. So, I started to learn them together. Because I thought, oh, well, it's going to be easy to learn them together. Eventually, it's not. Or it was not. Because surely the main difficulty is that these both languages, they look alike. Like you have the quando and quando in Italian and Spanish. But the only thing that is different is the first letter, the initial letter. So quite difficult with it. Or the word... Por favor, in Spanish, and per favore, in Italian. Completely difficult. So, eventually, I've, uh, I got rid of um, Spanish and continued with Italian. And, uh, yeah, so, same, like, the, um, the um, desire to learn this language came during my Erasmus exchange program. Um, so, yeah, what are the basic words in Spanish? So, well, you start with, um, what? You start with, oh uh, my gosh, with hola. You have something more formal, which is buenas dias, literally, good day. But another general, like in German, hallo, you go with hola. Hola. For goodbye... And for hi, you can use one variant. Ciao. Ciao. Beautiful, isn't it? Very easy. Same thing in French, by the way. Anyways, uh, for goodbye, for the formal goodbye, you can say adios. 
but which is like goodbye forever as far as I understand because when I traveled to Spain I didn't really um, I wasn't able to speak much unfortunately so I used French and English mainly pity so I hope next time I'm going to practice my Spanish there um, so yeah adios you can use it but it's like really goodbye forever if you say goodbye to somebody forever you can go with adios or you can go with a simple ciao which is bye as we mentioned before si no easy si no same things are in italian un caffè por favor gracias one coffee please thank you or you can say muchas gracias which is Again, if you like to use the much word, like thank you very much, go with muchas. So, un café, por favor, muchas gracias. De nada. You're welcome. De nada. So, and let's combine all of it together into the song that, well, not into the song, but into the lyrics of the song that you can find down below for Las Parablas Badicas. Hold on, my, my brain wants to speak German. Okay, keine Deutsch, bitte. Thank you, danke schön. Um, ha. Hola. My gosh, sorry. Hola. Ciao, ciao. Adios. Ciao, ciao. Si, y no. Un café, por favor. Muchas gracias. De nada. Now. Let's go with the next language that we uh, present. It is, oh my gosh, what is wrong with everything? Nothing works for me. Um, it is Greek, Hellenica. So, uh, as for Greek, I started to learn it really recently. I think it was last year. And I just wanted to have, you know, some kind of a challenge for myself because I thought, well, I know romance languages i do understand them more or less i know the slovak languages i do understand them more or less i know a bit of german a uh, bit of english so i thought why not to get into something that is more important or that has influenced other languages greek Hellenica. i didn't really learn the ancient I didn't really learn ancient Greek, so I decided to go with modern Greek. So I learned the alphabet and the basic words and a bit of some other things. So I'm still continuing to uh, explore this beautiful language. Uh, so what are the basic words in Greek, you may ask? Well, you start with yasu, which is a very formal way of saying hello. Yasu. For hi, you can go with ya. Yeah. Just so if we combine together, we go just yasu, ya, yasu, ya, ya. For goodbye, I think the word adios comes from um, probably Greek, adio, adio. And for bye, you can use the same ya, which was just before. So adio, ya, adio, ya, ya. For yes and no, this one was very interesting for me. It was very difficult to uh, to memorize the yes and no because in Greek the yes starts with n, the same way as the no starts in many languages that I know. So for yes, it is ne. For no, it is ohi. So ne ke ohi. Right? And for um, one coffee, please. So in, in, um, in Greek, in Hellenica, you also have the cases, such as genitive case, nominativus, dativus, and so on and so forth. So that's why you use cases. And that's why this language is like the complexity of this language is doubled, not just due to the alphabet, not just due to the very different vocabulary that is not that connected with other languages, but also due to the grammar, which is a bit more complex. But it's bearable. You can learn it if you truly want and if you truly need with cozy languages, I hope, one day in the future. 
So, uh, for uh, one coffee, please. Thank you. You're welcome. And then cafe. Parakalo. F haristo. And then cafe. Parakalo. One coffee, please. F haristo. You. Um, sorry. F haristo. Thank you. Parakalo. You're welcome. So as you see, the please and you're welcome are the same. So now let's combine all of it together into uh, the lyrics of the song that you can find down below as well as all the other songs for basic words you can find down below to facilitate your language learning process and to enjoy. So, um, my gosh, what language am I speaking? I'm speaking Elenica, right? So I'm speaking Elenica, so I start with Yasu, Yaya, Adio. Yeah, yeah. Ne, ke ohi. Enan cafe, parakalo. Ev haristo, parakalo. Beautiful. I just, you know, I'm doing this video on one shot, so that's why probably my brain is a bit confused with all these languages. So, and the last language that we're going to present to you is Armenian. It is the language that I started to learn just recently, and which is a very very difficult one, so I'm just not able to learn it. So do not learn Armenian with us for now, because we are literally at the very beginning of it. Uh, so the things that I've learned 100% are um, one word, or rather two, right? So Barev Zez, which is very formal. Hello, Barev Zez. Barev is hello. Oh, it's high, sorry. So, barev des, barev, barev. Uh, for goodbye, I've uh, actually started to listen to some podcasts, and I think I made a mistake in this song, and uh, probably there are numerous mistakes, because I've learned the sotosotsun, which is probably the informal way, and I had something else. But anyways, according to the lyrics of the song, sotosotsun, sotosotsun is goodbye. Not sure whether it's formal or informal way of saying goodbye, right? So for next, yes and no, ayo, kam, och, 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 ayo, kam, och. Very difficult. Ayo, kam, och. Um, and the most difficult phrase is one coffee, please. Thank you. You're welcome. For your welcome, I think I also made a mistake, but I'm not sure. So here, this one I'm going to read. Mek sofrich, sofrich, handruvim, handruvim, em, handruvim, schnorhala, schnorhal, schnorhakalotsuna. Mek sofrich, handruvim, schnorhalakotsuna. You see, Schnor Halakutsun is thank you. Just mind blowing. But the thing that I've understood as the linguist is that the tune at the very end of words like Baravdes, Sotosutsun, Schnor Halakutsun, probably it means like the you, probably. Do you know? Yes trying to learn it a bit. But yeah, these are the things that I learned in Armenian, and I hope one day we're going to develop a course on Armenian too, before we need to learn it ourselves, rather. I need to learn it myself. So perhaps we're going to find a beautiful teacher who is going to teach Armenian and cozy languages and uh, help me as well to learn this beautiful language, because I don't know, even though I'm going there for one day, I, I don't know, I just got really interested because it's really something different, the same as Elenica Greek. So, well, it was a um, very uh, long, I think, video um, with a bit of my background, a um, bit of uh, useful basic words. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask them. And also write in the comments below what languages do you learn? What methods do you use? And, well, hope to see you soon. Probably we're going to make another video on language learning with the verb to be, once we make songs as well. 
So, thank you very much for tuning in. As always, stay updated, stay interested, and stay cozy, because language learning with cozy languages always feels like fun. Bye.